Lifting up Jesus, opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, the United States, and throughout the world. You're watching L'Oreal TV. Jacob, one of the believers had a question on Matthew 20, verses 29 through 34. How do we reconcile this passage, which says Jesus healed two blind men as he left Jericho with Mark 10, 46 through 52, and Luke 18, verses 35 through 43, which says Jesus healed one man as he entered Jericho. We reconcile it the same way we reconcile many other similar, similar parallel accounts in the Gospels. For instance, in Mark chapter 5, we see that there was one demoniac at Gerizim. However, when we look at it in Matthew chapter 8, we see that there were two. Remember, the Gospels are historically true. They have historicity, but they are not the story of Jesus. They are not the history of Jesus. If everything Jesus did were written down in a historical format, we're told by the Apostle John, all the books that existed at that time couldn't contain them. Although they have historicity, although these accounts are historically true and accurate, they are not written as history. They are written as the theological interpretation of the history. We have parallel accounts. The author's intent, as the Holy Spirit inspired the author to write, includes the detail necessary for that intent. It was necessary for the intent of Matthew to say there were two demoniacs. It was necessary for Mark to say only one. Well, this is the same. This is the same. It's not about what happened. It's about the theological interpretation of what happened. And to put across the doctrinal and the theological interpretation of the account, it was only necessary, only necessary, for one to be mentioned here. In another one, it was written more comprehensively. It was necessary for two to be mentioned. Remember also, you see this frequently with Luke. Luke was a Syrophoenician Greek convert to Judaism, and he was writing largely for a Greek, that is a Greco-Roman or a Gentile readership. So he is writing in a historical linear format that was more oriented to the Greco-Roman, that is the Gentile world, as opposed to the other synoptic writers and to John. They each author only includes the historical detail important to the theological or doctrinal point he's trying to make. These things are not history, and they should not be read as history. They should be read as true stories that are historically true, but their purpose is not to give us the history. Their purpose is to theologically interpret the history, and different of the evangelists, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, are highlighting different aspects. Therefore, they only include the historical detail necessary for the theological point they're trying to put across doctrinally. Thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless.